Nutrition matters. The six core elements of a healthy diet. This is from healthnewshub.org, Hartford Healthcare. Ah, uh, so let's read. Let's see what this suggests. Now, again, I consider myself a little bit of a, a healthy person sometimes. I don't know. Maybe. I used to be, potentially. And, and maybe I still am. I'm not sure. Uh, so let me take a sip from my vodka beverage at 11 a.m. real quick. It's brunch, folks. March is National Nutrition Month. I didn't even know that, but now I do. And Dr. Devika U. Mishankar, System Medical Director, Medical Weight Loss at Hartford Healthcare, took some time to talk to us about healthy eating, the importance of good nutrition, and the best diet for weight loss. It's vital to understand nutrition generally because it has a positive impact on one's mental state, physical state, and overall health. Now, again, folks, if you feel like you're tired all the time, eat a goddamn carrot, motherfucker. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. It helps reduce the amount of chronic diseases people might have. Helps maintain a healthy weight in general and helps boost your immune system. There are so many benefits to having a good understanding of why nutrition is so important. The Department of Agriculture's 2020 to 2025 Dietary Guidelines for Americans notes that the focus should be on dietary patterns, researches, and blah, blah, blah. According to those dietary guidelines, 95, I don't know if you knew this, 95% of Americans do not eat the minimum of the daily recommended range of fiber in their diet. So it's a range. I think it's like 18 to like 38 grams or something like that. It's like, I don't know, something like that uh, per day. 95% of Americans do not hit the minimum. They don't hit the minimum of that. So it's not like they don't hit the maximum or they don't hit the average. 95% of Americans do not eat the minimum amount of daily recommended fiber on a daily basis. 88% of Americans have metabolic syndrome. So I'm just saying Americans are fucked. The USDA said more than half of adults want, have one or more diet-related chronic illnesses. Ha more than half of adults have one or more diet-related chronic illnesses. That is, they their chronic illnesses would go away if they had a better diet. I had, uh, for most of my life, several chronic illnesses. Almost all of them are gone. Almost. Hey, I'm just saying, you know, I'm not perfect. But uh, after I fixed my diet, so I'm a success story, hashtag. Dr. Uman Shankar said the two main ways to have a balanced diet are to cut down on sugar and saturated fats as much as possible. She said a healthy plate should consist of 50% vegetables, 25% carbohydrates, grains, and 25% protein. She recommends nutrient-dense foods and beverages. Nutrient-dense foods provide vitamins, minerals, and other healthy are rather health-promoting com uh, components and have no or little added sugar, saturated fat, and sodium. The core elements that make up a healthy diet uh, pattern include vegetables of all types, dark green, red, and orange, beans, peas, and lentils, starchy, and other vegetables. Beans, I'm a, I'm, I'm a bean bitch. Call me the bean bitch, hashtag. Um, I eat beans almost every single day. They are fucking amazing. Again, high protein, high fiber, you know, ugh, it, beans are a good base for almost any meal. Let me just tell you, okay. Fruits, especially whole fruit. Fruit juice, fuck that shit. It's usually just like added sugar, you know, fuck fruit juice, okay. Sliced apples, stuff like that. Sliced fruit, eh, eh. Peeled fruit, eh. You know, a lot of people peel off, like, the rinds on their, like, citrus fruits. Like, for me, one of, uh, one of a weight loss trick I used uh, a couple years ago was eating a whole lemon. You know, so I'd, well, I, I would eat, like, maybe, like, a quarter a day. Uh, but I would get a whole lemon, I would cut it up into four pieces, and I would eat each piece every day. And I'm including the rind, I'm including, like, you know, the, the fruit itself, Right? You know, wash that shit off, though. Make sure you get, like, organic if you're doing that and wash the fuck out of that. But uh, lemon rinds and other rinds are highly nutritious, high fiber content. Um, And the lemon juice speeds up your metabolism. And, uh, you know, it, it's just good. So I recommend eating whole fruit like that. Uh, if you're eating an apple, apple skin, 
I recommend apple skin. But again, wash your fruits because, you know, this country sucks. Grains. At least half of them are whole grain. You should be eating only whole grain. I don't even know why you'd not have all like what name one food that's better when it's not whole grain. You can't do it. You can't do it. Dairy. Fat free or low fat milk, yogurt and cheese and or lactose free versions and fortified soy beverages and yogurt as alternatives. Soy beverages. Uh also soy uh protein in the form of tofu and other stuff. Go for it. Soy is good. Protein foods, lean meats, poultry, and eggs, uh, or not do that. Seafood, beans, let's go with beans. Again, beans, big, peas, lentils, uh, nuts, seeds, and soy products, uh, uh, fuck that meat. Fuck that meat. All my homies hate meat. Oils, vegetable oils and oils and foods such as seafood and nuts, I recommend uh, get as virgin as you can on the olive oil. Make that shit, it, like, you know, crank up the virginity meter. For that shit, as much as you can. Also, reminder, that doesn't mean anything in the U.S. because of regulations. Uh, but anyway, so that's some good tips. I agree with uh, Dr. Devika Umashankar. Uh, you know, I agree. And again, International Women's Day. So shout outs to, uh, you know, the women out there, the health experts. Yeah! <laughs> Just saying. So there you go, folks. Some tips and tricks. Did someone mention P.S.?